Hey guys, so today I have another unboxing and that is for my Dream Valley Dean head on the B404 body um, because his head usually comes on, I think it's the B413 body, which is 45 centimeters. This one is 51 centimeters. Um, I liked it better, that's all. <laughs> I thought it was nicer. Um, so we're gonna find out what that looks like. How do you open? Oh, interesting. It's like, I've never, I've never, um, this is going to be my first Dream Valley doll, which I'm really, really excited about. Ooh. Okay. We got a little envelope, which is probably going to be the COA. We've got some little postcards. I forget, I know which doll they're talking about, but I forget the name. And see you away. Okay, now let's get just right to the doll, I guess. Okay, so I'm just sort of lifting the foam up. Oh, the foam is just like, it's like completely, uh, completely cut out. It's just hollow. Okay, okay. Nothing in here. No, just extra insulation. Okay. Ooh, the resin smell. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to open are his horns. I'm so excited for this. So for this doll, I have no clue what I'm gonna do with it, honestly. Um, it was kind of an impulse purchase. I bought him in, it was either May or June, whenever his discontinuation, like when he was getting discontinued, um, because he has been on my wish list for quite a long time, but I didn't have like an immediate rush to buy him. I was like, okay, just someday. But then all of a sudden he's getting discontinued. And so I had to. So, these, oh, I'm trying to figure out the best way to hold them. These are his horns. I don't know if they go, no, they probably go this way. I forget what they look like from the pictures. I'll like, hold them by, yeah, little horns. So I'll have to paint them, blush them, figure out what I want them to look like. And here, here he is. Um, oh, doll nudity, by the way. Um, oh, cool. Wait, before I do that, they, um, came with random eyes, which every doll does too. Little, little mini magic eraser. Um, oh, and I got him from Clover Singing. Ooh, okay. We got these blue eyes, but they're like, like a really bright blue. Like all the other blue eyes I've gotten with dolls have kind of been like more dull. And some eye putty. Could never have enough eye putty. Okay. So, and he's in uh, white skin. This is also my first white skin doll. And my first inhuman sculpt. Like I have, um, August has little like elf ears. Like he's like a fairy, but, um, this is my first doll with these kind of ears and um, and horns. So you can see the uh, face protector was a little misplaced. So hopefully, hopefully he's fine. I'm so excited. This has got to be like my favorite body I've ever seen. Like this B404 body, it's so pretty. I, I love it, I love it so, so, so much. I'm curious with how the head is gonna fit um, because, little story time, I originally was gonna go through Alice's collections for him and I asked them if I could have him put on the B404 body instead and they said no because uh, the neck was too wide for like the neck hole in the head. 
Um, and so I asked Christina from Clover Singing, and she said, yeah. So here he is. Um, I'll see how tight his head is. God, I love, I love this body. It's so... I'm gonna catch all my MSDs from now on having this this body. I'm so excited for his ears. That was the main thing that drew me to the sculpt, was the like lamb kind of like droopy ear thing. I I love it. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, he's white, so he's just gonna be like blinding. There we go. So this is him. Oh my god, let me let me put on his his horns. What? Oh no, other way. Hold on. What? So I just realized something one of the magnets is gone. Um, so now I am going to look through my stuff, <laughs> like my garbage. I am so stupid. It didn't, it just fell out and it attached to, um, to the, that makes so much, that, yeah, that makes sense. Um, so this is, <laughs> This is what they would look like. I think it's I think it's this side. I think it goes like this, not like that. No, it looks like yeah. Um So I'm just going to hold this on because the magnet fell out. He will look like that. Um I'm just going to have to glue it, I guess. Okay, I'm going to take the horns off and I will do a body review. Okay, so I just put some eyes in, so I'll show the head first. Um, first of all, the head is tiny, um, which all Dream Valley heads are, but getting the eyes in, it's like near impossible with S hook in. Um, also, his eyes are really small. And so these are, I've, I've been thinking I kind of want them to be like pinkish themed. And so I put these pink eyes that I have, um, these like shimmery eyes. Um, but these are 14 millimeter, seven millimeter irises. And I think I will have to get him like five millimeter irises. I think those would look better on this particular doll because his eyes aren't as wide as other MSDs and so I think that yeah I think that five millimeter irises might be his thing you know what? I'm gonna do that right now and I'm just gonna see compare see how it looks okay yeah so I just put in some five millimeter iris still pink um, eyes these are completely solid eyes too. They don't have um, like a pupil. These are just pink sparkly eyes. Um, but I can definitely already tell that five millimeters is the way to go. Okay, so everything looks okay. And this is what the Dream Valley logo looks like. And everything seems to be in good condition except for that one magnet that fell out. Um, I'll just have to glue that back in. Okay, so now for the body review. Um, the head, it's, it works surprisingly well. Like I don't, the difference between the neck hole and neck is only half a centimeter. Um, I'm not mad at that at all. I think it's, I think it's pretty good. Um, let me move this box out of the way. Arms. Pretty good. 
just love how slender he is. Oh my god. Um, let's see. The elbow. Nice. Nice. It is always like a really annoying thing for me when the arms don't smoothly go in like this guy. He's wearing a long sleeve shirt. Where's your arm? Oh my god. Here. Like, if you want to do the other joint, you have to force it. Um, whereas he just completely goes smoothly. And so it looks like... It looks like he also does it pretty smoothly. Um, looks like he can't tuck maybe as far as the other dolls can because of this interesting looking elbow joint. It reminds me a little bit of Doll Chateau, like the round, the rounded joints. The hands, the hands are so pretty. Really long fingers. Skinny hands. Okay, I'm gonna put his arms up. Let's test how far he can lean. Well, as I'm putting it far back, I realize there is a little mark. I don't know if you can see that. I can probably buff that out, though. Um, so it looks like he can't lean forward. That could be just um, a tight stringing thing, though. Let's see back. Yeah, no. Wait, let me... Okay. So he doesn't have any shelves to move forward either, like to stay is sort of click in place. Um, so maybe with some suading and just stringing him a little looser. Um, side to side he stays, okay. Okay. Interesting. All right. But just not front and back, he doesn't want to. Good to know. Um, Yeah, speaking of his like torso area, I just love it. It's so slender in like the back and just, okay. Let's see how the legs bend. Pretty, yeah, they don't stay very much, but cool. Let's check out the thigh joints. Okay, so, um, I don't know if you can see, his thigh joints, there's no shelf or anything either, it's just, um, round, and so it doesn't want to stay like that either, I don't know if there's a trick to it. Um, his right leg stays a tiny bit, I'll flip him around, oh my goodness, because he's white, it's like, glaring. It stays a little more, like a tiny bit. Um, but I don't know, the, the thigh joints are interesting because they're curved and so you can't like swivel as easy because if you swivel then it's gonna make the leg longer. So I'm not sure how I feel about the curved thigh joints because usually they're straight across so that you can swivel the legs. Okay, let's move on to knees. There, one, oh, okay, he doesn't want to bend right away, but if I, there we go. And the other one, oh, wow, that one was much smoother. Oh, uh, maybe not, okay, you have to get it at the right point. Um, let's see, I feel like that's a pretty decent sit, like on your knees, I think that's the closest to any of my dolls. And his feet. Let's see. Feet. Decent movement. Yeah, I want to try the knees again. Okay. Okay, so just with a little... He looks like he's jumping. Whoa! Um, with a little force in the knees, then... Okay, not too bad. 
I am I'm stealing <laughs> August's wig. I just want to put a wig on him, see what he looks like. Cute. Um, wow. And then that's so cute. Picture, pretend this one stays. I think this is how I picture him, kind of, like not brown hair, um, but like kind of curly. I realized that I forgot to do a height comparison between my other dolls and to measure him. And so, um, for example, he is 44 centimeters, he is 46, and he, while advertised at 51, um, measures to be more around 48. And I will put the um, horns on. The both magnets fell off now, so I'll just have to hold it there, but just so you can get the idea of how tall he would be with the horns. Okay, so if I sort of just place the horn here, um, he did measure to around 54 centimeters plus those. So just pretend, pretend it stays. I'll have to glue those back on. So yeah, that was my unboxing slash body review of my Dream Valley Dean. And I will see you guys in the next one.